Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Run Like Hell. We last left off. Yes. I want to shut this off, but, uh... I, I can't really, uh... I can't really do it. It won't let me. One moment. I'm just going to, uh, reload that. Yes, I'm going to reload that. I, I, I'm going to save spam. I'm, go I'm going to save state spam this, this particular section. Because that is uber crap. Is there anything in there? Can I grab anything that's in there? I just gotta wait for this to go down. Oh, oh yes! Oh, a checkpoint! Oh, thank you, God! Oh, thank God. They aren't complete animals with this game. They aren't. Because if they were, I think I would have pitched something across the goddamn room. I say stated for basically nothing. But still, I'm not gonna complain now. I've, I've checkpointed. I am hopefully halfway through. And my, my, my rifle, as much as I like the Pulse rifle, my, my standard rifle is still far better. Oh. I gotta wait. Okay. Okay, he must have got caught by the, the field, which I'm not going to complain with. Uh, no. I'm not going to complain! Somebody probably slapped the design and said, you're going to put checkpoints on here. Or what? I'm going to take and I'm going to slap you in the face with a brick. Good point. Checkpoints are in. That's what I would do. I'm not a schmuck. Unless I was trying to make a Kaizo level, then I would be a schmuck. But this ain't a Kaizo game! This is freaking run like hell! This is nothing Kaizo here! Can I... can I clip that? No. Uh, ooh, going in there, huh? Boss small. Can I just get close to what's in there? Nope! Nope, we're not having this business! I'm angry! <laughs> when I got you at range, I got you, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's um. Okay, that's fine. You send the bit. You send your minions after me. That's, that's great. The freaking box. I feel as though I should explore the rest of this area just to go shoot bit. Or not. That's perfectly. We see them. Uh, okay, so this this area. Okay, the whole station is basically. I could see the floor. That's that's uh. That's that's, that's not good. I'm getting cotton mouth too. That's not good. <sighs> I have a feeling the final boss of this game is going to be a brute. It's going to literally be be a one hit kill type of deal. Or close to it, and I'm going to be very angry. 
I'm gonna pitch something across the goddamn room. So help me, Jesus. And my my why is my freaking headset trying to tangle up now? Stop it. Hold up, a place that isn't taken over yet. Who didn't that door? That's what I do. I'm the boss now. I'm the chief of security. The head of the station. The big cheese kahuna himself. At least until I get the commander back. Oh. Computer yes. access out of military band alpha 12 access code omega 4265. Confirmed. Damn, that's a welcome sight. Computer, magnify audio. This is the HSS Hugan. Please respond. I repeat, for SETI station, this is the HSS Hugan. Please respond. Computer, open audio channel. HSS Hugan, this is Captain Connor for SETI station. I read you. Captain Connor, this is Captain Krexner. What is your status? We have the station on visual, and I have to say, I really can't tell what I'm looking at. The station is controlled <laughs> by hostiles. Do you have a full company on board? Affirmative. We have a full company of Marines ready to land on your clearance. Don't. What kind of hostiles are we talking about? I wish I could tell you, Captain. They killed most of the occupants of the station, and their origin is unknown. I suggest caution if you intend to land. Oh, we intend to land, but that's a moot point if you don't lower your defensive shield. Defensive shields? It shouldn't be active. Well, I hate to break it to you, but it is. We get close, we get fried. Can you take the shield down? If it means that we get out of here, I'll tear the controls out of the station if I have to. Don't advance until I contact you. Will do. Good luck, Captain. Well, we have... Uh, actually, we're... <laughs> Captain, I overheard your conversation with Captain Krexner through the comlink. If the ship tries to dock with us, the defensive shield will destroy it. I know. Is there any way you can break into the central computer and turn the shield off? I've tried that, but the security codes are all active. Breaking those codes are beyond my meager skills. Don't despair yet. My son just received a distress call. According to him, it comes from someone who has the knowledge to, uh, yeah, break the codes. You mean a hacker? Well, oh. If you must call it that. Oh, no. A friend of my son's was last being held in the detention center of Res Epsilon. Jesse's been searching for her for days, and he's come across an SOS from there. You just said the entire area was surrounded by alien growth. It's the most I can do, Captain. There are oh. very few areas left that have normal access. Go to the southeastern part of Haven. You'll find some alien access points there. You know, I was hoping I was nearing the end, but now I realize I read the instruction manual. There's, uh, still... One more character they have yet to introduce to us directly. Who happens to be his friend. Which means either we're going to get very little character growth from this particular character. Or. You know, and she'll die. Or. There's a lot more to this game left than I want. Oh god, why? Just froze. <laughs> the friggin' game just friggin' froze. Oh, actually, the whole friggin' mount emulator froze. Awesome. <laughs> oh, one moment. What? One moment. All right, we're back. Yep, I had to reload. After my my whole emulator crash. All right, let's see what happens here. Again. It did it again! 
one, one moment, one, one moment. I'm going to try once more. If it doesn't work, then uh, I know why. First, let me just check the room. Make sure there's nothing I forgot. I looked at my CD. It appears that there is a scratch in the label somehow of my game. I guess I'm playing this on an actual disc. So, it seems I must now either pause this LP as uh, I'm unable to continue it, or find an ISO. I will I will try this. If if I find an ISO and it doesn't work, well then, well this episode's done anyway. Uh, I'm gonna find an ISO. If uh, that doesn't work, then uh, I'll just tack on an ending where I explain what I thought about the game, considering I can't finish it, at least on emulator. And I definitely don't have a capture device, so that's shot. So, uh, am I gonna be able to fix this, or are you gonna see an extra big tacked on the end of this? Find out next time, hopefully. On the big man plays run like hell. Today's big fatty plus Cyanar. And I guess this is the perils of playing on disc. You have a CD-ROM that's a lot more sensitive than a PlayStation. And therefore, if there's even a slice little scratch in the CD of a game I bought brand fracking new, then, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to complete the game. Great.